Hi, I am showing about how to set up cloud Hadoop ecosystem. Okay, Hadoop in multi node cluster. Here, some certain commands in any different system, and you must and should be VMs configured in VMware. Okay, and then IP address must be static. Here, configuring multi node cloud era cluster setup. What is the prerequisite of CDH and what is the operating system you are using? Are mostly using RHL, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, or CentOS? Depends upon your operating systems. And what is the disk space of Cloud Era Manager Server? And RAM 4GB is recommended. And Python Parallel is must and should. Uh, using here using Putty or someone using Sigwin like that. You are must and should using Putty. Then after that. Open the putty and type hostname or IP address here and then open. After that, it's showing some CMD command prompt like that. Using root login is a root and password what you choose, then type it. Then open the VA ETC host command for here using multi node cluster. That's why using VA ETC hostman hostname command and then edit type uh, your IP address and then what you need mission one or uh, master node here using mission one name mission one dot local domain space mission one after that using another uh, node IP and mission two dot local domain mission two and then another IP address mission 3 dot local line mission 3 here using multi node cluster that's why I will using VI etc host command okay and then add in master node uh, in here mission 1 node then type VI etc system config network for networks is working or not networking is condition is s after that host name check the host name mission 1 dot local domain then type VA ETC SC Linux configure SC Linux means security Linux configurations what is the strategy of our missions here SC Linux is equal to enforcing we must with enforcing replace with the disabled okay then type set and force 0 for all the complexities we are using certain force after that m install here using centro is 7 so we must and should do it. network time protocol is necessary for the on the systems in the system okay m install ntp ntp date space ntp doc command after installations ntp then check ntp configurations then type this command ntp config ntpd on after that type vi slash etc ntp config after that ntp minus p after e these commands then start the ntpd okay then type ntpd we must check on what is the day present date then uh, services start ntpd all we check after that key generator key generation generator SSS key generator is must and should done in three missions. Okay, then type SSS key gen minus T RSA in three missions. Okay, after that, using key generator, you must and should save the file in ID RSA file here. Okay, then go for cd root dot SSH whether you must and check id rsa pub key is there or not okay then type uh, cat id rsa, RSA dot pub authorize you must and should authorize those pub key generators okay then type scp command okay scp authorized keys root at the rate of root means your login or admin root at the rate of mission 2 dot local domain slash root ss dot sh okay then ask yes or no then you will must and should type yes okay then automatically permanently add the local domains in three missions okay then install 
ओपन एस एल पाइथन पैरल एम क्लीन आल एम रिपोल रिपोलिस्ट ओके आफ्टर दैट दिस इज द जस्ट डोमेन एडिंग इन थ्री मिशन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इज द मल्टी नोट क्लस्टर आफ्टर दैट यू मस्ट एंड शुड डाउनलोड क्लाउडरा मैनेजर ओके डब्ल्यू गेट हेच डी टी पी स्लैश आर्च क्लाउडरा डाट कॉम सी एम फाइव डिपेंड्स अपन युवर बिन फाइल वाट यू नीड अपडेटेड वर्षन आर लाइक दट ओके आफ्टर दट इंस्टा क्लाउडरा मैनेजर बिन फाइल यूजिंग यू मस्ट एंड शुड permissions will change because of this bin files are only read run, read only then you using ch mode 700 read and write all permissions you must and should be change the bin file after that type command dot slash cloudera manager installer bin this is the cloudera manager setup here starting the whole cloudera manager system it's a default taking spark or depends upon you were choosing options before we'll see but this is the cloudera ecosystem then type a, next then accept license okay next it automatically added the jdk embedded database okay cloudera manager server okay all will done then click on okay after that okay if you get any error then you have disable firewall and ip tables disable firewall types in this command system ctl disable firewall d command for centos or any linux os system you must and should disable firewall and ip tables ip tables means ipv6 tables we must and should disable using this command we slash etc slash system ctl dot config okay this is our necessary for cloudera setup after that installing cloudera manager is completed then browse mission ip address we have mission one or master one ip address colon 7180 7180 is the default port for cloudera manager okay after that showing like this then type username admin password admin these are all default username and passwords after that cloudera manager login then accept terms and conditions okay after that select cloudera express or cloudera enterprise data hub enterprise trailer or cloudera enterprise these are all money based so you must and should take free version free version means you have a little bit difficulty and uh, conflicts then you will try very easily and uh, simple then set host missions using per domain names here after that continue button you must and should set host missions using per domain as per domain names okay here mission one dot local domain you will set it then check whether is uh, communicate or not then select repository use packages or use parcels what you need then choose any one okay versions here also kafka is present if you need kafka then click on install next page if you need any proxy setting select the and fill it don't need leave it i think uh, it means there is no necessary for the proxy settings okay after that click okay for three missions cluster installation is there any issue then choose mozilla firefox for compatibility for cluster installations after cluster ins installations completed successfully click on okay continue check cdh versions okay then 100% completed then click continue cluster installations after that continue then check relations cluster installations inspect host her correctness run again here mainly two validations are showing warnings then type below comments and then running here two warning warnings are there okay here in the warning we have some command is there find out and 
copy and then paste in uh, putty after the two commands systemctl vm dot swappiness equal 10 then click finish ok after the finish button you must and should wa check version cluster 1 cdh5 ok then hdf's name node and resource manager must be different in hadoop uh, um, hadoop system must and should be learn some concepts in name node and resource manager ok after that continue here all the services if you need i need only core with spark so that's why i select i choose core with the spark then continue uh, test connections embedded database means here default post is good. then cluster setup congratulations showing congratulations okay thank you thank you for watching please subscribe comment stick